Following the templates and this simple process, we go about creating the inner pages that use the level 2 and the level 3 templates. And based on how we set these pages up, the navigation menu that you see here from the front end is dynamically and automatically generated. So as an example, let's have a look at this one page, which is the product page for Beehive Buzz. And we see that it's a child of the products page. And we have also specified that this page needs to be included in the navigation. And this is its uh, specific position, basically uh, what needs to be used to determine the order of its display in the nav menu. So let's have a look at how this shows up. There's the products menu and there is the beehive swarm. Back to the list of pages and somewhat shifting gears, the contact page uses the contact form widget that is again directly integrated with Salesforce CRM. But wait, that's not all. Uh, we have pre-built widgets that we have enabled basically to integrate with your provider of choice for analytics, feedback and support, and uh, say something like live chat. And what you see here is the two providers that we've enabled our site with for site analytics. So there's the Google Analytics and Stat Counter and let's drill down into one of these to look at how that looks like and as you can see you don't have to really uh, write JavaScript code or cut copy paste JavaScript code into all your HTML templates you can just uh, insert the tracking ID and the tracking code the ID will be propagated to all the pages that we have on the site and importantly as we will appreciate that for doing all of this we continue to use our single Salesforce login uh, which makes it all the more simpler.